This tiny house has been all across North America. Oh my God, this is going in the unit, close the door. We took it to the White House. We had it in Ottawa. We had it in Hawkesbury, Montreal, Toronto. Kind of a contained region, but we toured it a lot. More than your average home would travel. Most homes don't travel. I'm Charlie Fries, co-founder of Tiny Box. We're building homes just like this one that come together like massive Lego pieces. Our homes are equipped to be fully off-grid, meaning that you can just plop them in the middle of the woods and the next day start using them. You see, over the past two years, we've developed the building system where you can flat pack homes, ship it to site, and then assemble them in under two weeks. This journey started one and a half years ago when our CEO, Oliver Zhang, started building the first generation of our tiny box. He built it in his driveway and then put it on the back of the trailer and toured around North America more than we got to tour this one. He drove it all along the West Coast and lived out of it the whole time. Oliver has been passionate about affordable housing ever since he was a kid. And he thought, how can I have an affordable way to live anywhere in the world rather than spending that same amount of money and going into like a small condo in the city? Huya, having been displaced over 20 times in the span of just a few years, knew that he wanted to create an affordable way to build homes as well. He's led the development of a lot of our off-grid systems, such as our bioreactor, which allows us to have a fully flushing toilet, even though we're not connected to plumbing whatsoever. We also call it our astronaut toilet, because this technology is what was used up in space, the same space that Puya has previously shipped blood tests to. He's a pretty impressive guy. And for me, I joined Oliver and Puya because I was inspired by these guys who were doing the impossible. But also, my generation is pretty priced out of housing. I wanted to solve that for my friends and myself and my family. You see, the thing is, this second generation prototype that we built was really just a proof of concept. This unit, as cool as it is, can be duplicated and then connected to itself to build bigger homes. It doesn't have to be just tiny homes. We can build full-size homes, even apartments, with this style of construction. All it really would be is adding more pieces to the LEGO set. We started off in Ottawa after building this in only nine days. We still needed a few more days to get it fully ready, but it was done enough for us to show the world. We actually still didn't even have like the finished roof on. We had a ceiling, but not the finished roof. So at one point it started raining and dripping through the cracks. It definitely didn't look like it was fully ready, but if you're not a little embarrassed when you're shipping, are you really shipping early enough? Ottawa was really cool though, despite not being in a fully finished state, because we got to learn a lot. We got to learn what features people were most excited about out of our toolkit. Things like the Murphy bed, or the bioreactor toilet that I mentioned earlier. With it more ready to show off, we made the pilgrimage down to Washington DC for the Innovative Housing Showcase. We traveled over a thousand kilometers with our home attached to a trailer on the back of our truck. Typically we imagine installing these homes on actual foundations, but a trailer can work just fine as well. The only thing is, that means for those thousand kilometers, your home is basically going through an earthquake, especially where we were driving. We had to go through some pretty rough and dirt roads, and our home certainly got a true test for structural integrity, which we're happy to say, it's still standing just fine. If it did, I don't know if we'd be making this video. It was literally our whole company on the back of a truck. When we made it down to Washington, this is where we learned the most. Parked next to a bunch of other really amazing companies, it became clear how we stood out the most. It was the fact that we were fully off-grid. You see, the way that we design our homes gives us a very insulated enclosure. Because it's so well insulated, you actually need very little energy to heat and cool it. That allows us to be fully powered by solar and not be attached to the grid whatsoever. We were the only fully off-grid home on the National Mall that weekend. But we learned some other things too. There's a lot of people who really thought that this would be perfect for a granny suite or an additional dwelling unit. These are these new kinds of housing that are propagating up all across North America. It's where you can put a home in your own backyard and connect it to your house's utilities. This allows you to have a relative move in to your backyard or even just rent it out to really anybody and get some additional income. It would have to be a bit bigger than this, which means that either we extend this or we take two and connect them together. It also turns out a lot of people are interested in using this as a backyard office. This is 160 square feet, so in a lot of the world, that means it can be built without a building permit. You can just throw this in your backyard or on your property, turn it into a backyard office, an art studio, a outdoor gym, a she shed, I mean like whatever you want to call it and you can use it basically as an extra room on your property without having to get a messy renovation for your main house. Thank you for joining this tiny box journey and I'd love to hear in the comments, how would you use this space? 
Also, check out our past videos so you can see how much we've leveled up from the first to second generation. Just imagine where the next one's gonna go.